Good day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Animal Badmos. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. If you find this video very helpful, please do not forget to like and also add comments. This is the way that this gesture, however um, little you think it is, please, it helps me to, it encourages me to do more of these videos. So, in this part of this video, we will try to um, retrieve the email that has been retrieved um, the email link that has been sent to us. So, how do we do that? So, the first thing that I want to do, remember, We've been able to first successfully run it, so it has sent an email, as you can see from the um, from the script that just got executed. It also gave gave us a message that an email has not been sent. So let's quickly retrieve that. So the first thing we will do, like I said earlier, is we would add something to to this place called test isolation. Why do we need this? We need this so that um, a Cypress can run other it blocks, so it won't just single handedly be running the first it block. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I think I have a dry throat. So, um, the next thing we want to do now is uh, to just retrieve the email. Retrieve the link in the email. And this is the link okay that's what we want to do create the function and um, we begin so mail also since we've already created the, um, the 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 connection it has a built-in command of its own it has several ones so you could um we, the one that we need actually is um, the one to retrieve the message so we just use the get message command right so at this time we need to put the server id so because it is one of the arguments that it will take it will take the server id because that is where it needs to retrieve the email from then it also needs a criteria so the criteria that it needs here is sent so the destination email which will be the email address what this does is essentially that at each point in time where we need to get the email it will be picking it from the particular email that we've created at that point at that particular execution cycle so what we'll do is uh, we'll create this function in right let me get this to the next line so it will be easier to read so we do this and we put the arrow function as usual and um, what we now do is we first um what we'll try to do is we'll first um, verify something there so let us verify the email subject right let us verify the email subject to know that we have picked the right email so what i will do is um I will go here. Yeah, let me go to the browser and um, check the email the inbox. Yep. So the email subject is this, right? I'll copy this right here. So what I will do now is verify that that email subject is there. So okay. I'm going to use this to check. So now I can equally create a new um, variable here. Let's say um, sign up link. No, let me call it confirm sign up link. Confirm sign up. Sign up link equals now the cy dot also so get message what it does for us is that it helps us to get the email 
and uh, it has some attributes unlike the way we did it in mail slot where you either use a regex or you need to know how to use the dump parser this one has a very simple way for you because it has already gotten the email so what you just you just use the email then you take the html of the email then you take one of the properties of the html which is links so it will return all links as a list so the one we are looking for usually will be the first one and you pick the attribute you are looking for in that link which will be the h ref okay and it picks the link so that's it so the next thing you just need to do is what we just need to do is just visit that particular link and um, we are done so let's see how if this will work yep now it has visited it and you see it is fast so it does not really need a timeout and all that because the thing just works synchronously so it's always like it's simultaneous so it is faster and it's simpler to use okay so if you've gotten this far it means that we've come to the end of it so in the next video we'll do a simple meal we'll do a simple um cleanup so to speak all right so what that means is that we would all the um elements that we used that are exposed the element locators that we used that are exposed we're going to keep them in this um, fixtures folder and use the cy.fixture command to also um, make everything less uh, more readable and um, finer so to speak so thank you please do not forget to like and add comments and see you in the next video bye bye